Hey guys, this is Chase from Burnout Inc. And, you know, sorry I haven't uploaded a video in a while. I've got a bunch of reviews that I've been wanting to do, which just really haven't had the time to do them. And I've been, you know, in the process of filming Meltdown, which the stop motion's taken a lot longer than I expected, and I still haven't even gotten into the sound design yet, which hopefully that will be next week. So that's just kind of what I've been doing lately. Been collecting some more figures, uh, been reading a lot of your guys' comments, and been enjoying the positive feedback and everything. So this is a long belated video that I said I was going to do way back in like February or March where I took all the questions from my uh, fan figure giveaway contest video and respond to them. And yeah, as you can see right now, I'm going to do this while I was playing uh, WWE 2K14, but right there it froze on me so I had to restart my entire Xbox. Ugh. I, I don't get it what's with this game. It's actually a big reason why I haven't played this game a whole lot. It just keeps freezing on me. And I thought it was a disc problem. So I got rid of my disc and I downloaded it. I, I, I bought it off of Xbox Live. And same thing, doesn't matter if it's on the hard drive or you're playing it on the disc, it's just going to freeze on you at random spots or when you're doing stuff that involves a lot of creative character stuff or you're doing something involving WWE Universe. And again, I just I don't get why it why it was doing that. So, oh well, let's let's just get back to the video. We'll relaunch 2K14 here in a second. So yeah, I'm gonna answer a lot of your guys' questions that have been building up for the last couple of months. And well, let's just get this going. So Tom is amazing. He asked, or actually, he told me what his favorite figure was because that that was kind of the thing of the contest. I wanted to know what your favorite WWE figure was, whether it was Mattel, Jax, whatever. So we'll we'll kind of do that along with the questions uh he asked or yeah this is going well okay uh, he said his favorite figure was the elite series one edge i have to agree that's a great figure and he asked which uh was my favorite figure apart from the undertaker because everyone knows i love undertaker um i love a lot of the Mattel figures so i'd say aside from the undertaker one of my absolute favorite ones is the elite series 16 diesel and the Elite Series 16 CM Punk. I absolutely love those two figures. Um, can't really describe it, but when I look at the Diesel figure, it just reminds me of like my childhood. Uh, Diesel was one of the first WWE figures back when it was WWF. Um, was one of the first figures I ever got. And that CM Punk, man, with the best in the world shirt, I don't know what it is. It's just, it's awesome. Um, also, I love the Elite Series 14 Big Boss, man. That one is, that one's amazing. Okay, Ryan Marby told me that his favorite figure was the Elite 22 Damien Sandow. Uh, it's Damien, Damien Sandow, excuse me. Uh, it has a lot of detail and has great likeness to him. Absolutely agree, I reviewed that figure. Uh, he asked, how many WWE figures do I have? I have so many I haven't even counted yet. Um, I'm willing to bet I'm, I, I'm above 100, I know that for a fact. <laughs> Maybe close to 200. Um, kind of... I've been needing to get shelves or glass cases for them or something so I can put them up, but sort of going to move again in the next couple of months, so I just put that on hold. And, you know, once I get all my figures on display, I'll do a video on them so you guys can see how many I have. Um, uh, he also, Ryan Marby asked another question. Well, he also said that he liked the Elite Series 24 Miz because it's awesome. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Uh, and his question is, what is your favorite brand of soda? Okay, Here, here's a weird, it's this weird answer. If it's Fountain Pop, like, you know, when you go to store or like Subway, Quiznos, whatever, I absolutely love Pepsi Fountain Pop. It just tastes amazing. If I go to a restaurant, I prefer Coke products, usually because they have like these Coke machines where they can mix the different flavors and stuff together. So yeah, I absolutely love that. So that's kind of a weird question to ask. If it's in a can, I, I don't like drinking soda in a can. It's just, ugh, it tastes weird. And another cool fact, I haven't drank soda since after WrestleMania. It's been a couple of weeks. Um, I, I just, it, it's weird. I, I love drinking soda. It gives me like this kind of burst of energy and it just is really refreshing to drink. But I get like really bad caffeine headaches and my teeth kind of hurt sometimes if I drink too much soda. So I just decided to cut it, most of it out of my diet. 
I'll drink like a cherry limeade or get a Seagram's ginger ale or something like that. But for the most part, dark soda, I just I stay away from it now. Uh, sorry if I mispronounce this. Gustavo Martinez says that his favorite figure is Elite 26 Roman Reigns because of the updated tattoo, and the face scan is slightly better than the basic. The I have to agree. That is a great figure, and I really enjoyed reviewing it. Um, and he says, what figure do you want Mattel to make? I want them to make a Goldberg figure. I made my own custom, but I, oh God, I would just love for them to make a Goldberg figure. I made a WCW Goldberg figure. I want them to make a WWE one from like 2004 or 2003. That'd be awesome. Um, also, I'd love a Boogeyman figure and I was gonna say 90s Legion of Doom, but I think we're gonna get we're getting that with the Elite Series uh, 30. I just haven't seen the pictures yet, so we don't know if it's gonna be 90, like early 90s, mid 90s, or LOD 2000. We really just don't know yet. Okay, so Mexican Dude 971. His favorite figure is the unreleased Jeff Hardy. Um, I said it was the Elite Series Zero because it's unreleased, and he's making a joke of it. So, yeah, I did review that as well. Um, he wanted to know what kind of belt is CM Punk holding in my collection video. Uh, that's the Burnout Inc. World Heavyweight Championship belt. Uh, it's a custom belt that I made out of, um, strangely enough, CM Punk's WWE Championship belt from the Best of Pay-Per-View WrestleMania 28 series, the Ricardo Rodriguez Build-A-Figure. Um, the reason I chose that belt was because it was the easiest to customize. Uh, the the flat matte plastic is a lot easier to paint on than the shiny plastic that I've noticed. And yeah, I, I just wanted to make a custom belt and for stop motions and stuff like that and just to kind of start up uh, my own little wrestling league. And yeah, I just, you know, I chose that belt because it was the easiest to customize. I do love the design of it. Um, the spinner part of it grew old after a while, so... And I, I've been actually updating that belt, so... And Meltdown, which should be up May 19th, um, you will see that belt in its updated form. So, thank you for the question. Um... Okay, Tom is amazing. Asked the third question. I'm just gonna skip over it because, come on, dude. Okay, um, let's see. Uh, BSL Boy Two. Um, I updated. Actually, answered his question on the giveaway video. So we'll skip over that. Uh, Michael, Michael Bettler. Uh, he said his elite. Uh, <laughs> he said his favorite figure is Elite Series 26 Biggie Langston. And his question is, if you were a wrestler, what would your finisher be? Uh, mine would be a fireman's carry into a Stone Cold Stunner. They had that move in the WrestleMania 2000 and WWF No Mercy. I absolutely love that move. I, I can't believe that they haven't made a version of that in the 2K games or the SmackDown vs. Raw games. Uh, there's the kind of version where you spin around and it goes into like an RKO or a cutter move, but it's not the same. It has to be the stunner. It has to be you push the leg up, push him over your shoulder, and drive him down into a stunner. Um, funny story, Brian Fury from the Tekken series, he has a move like that, and it looks absolutely sick. All right, so... I hope I'm saying this right. Justin Nosuke? Or Nosuk? Uh, his favorite figure is the best of pay-per-view Brock Lesnar. And do I only collect wrestling figures? If not, what other lines do I collect? I collect a large variety of figures. I just don't get to reviewing all of them because you guys really, really love the wrestling figures. So that's kind of why I've turned my focus towards that. But in the beginning, I was reviewing a whole bunch of figures. Um, I collect the Marvel Legends line, um, DC Universe Classics, or All-Stars, whatever the hell they're calling themselves now. Um, I just started collecting Figma figures, imports from Japan. Uh, the first one I got is the Indiana Jones Figma figure, which I'm... I, I want to do a review of it, so hopefully I will. Um, I love the SH figure arts, um, absolutely amazing. I have a large collection of the Soda Street Fighter figures, and uh, what else have I got? And I, I got a lot of NECA figures, so yeah. I have a couple of D arts, but not a huge collection of them. Mostly just the Mega Man figures. Uh, let's see. 
Aaron Shikodra. Sh Shikodra? Aaron Shikodra. Uh, his favorite figure is the Elite Series 23 Antonio Cesaro because the face scan is incredible and the figure comes with the U.S. title and it is really detailed. Have to agree. Um, question, who do you want to see face The Undertaker at WrestleMania? Sting. That's it. Sting, maybe Goldberg, but I'm pretty certain Goldberg's never going to happen. Sting might happen, but after WrestleMania 30, I really don't know. But that's who I would have loved to see face The Undertaker is Sting. Brian Kendrick, probably not the wrestler, but uh, his favorite action figure is the Elite Series 20 John Cena. He has the cat, the dog tags, and the ladder, and the Money in the Bank briefcase. Um, do you have any wrestling games for any device? Yes, I do. Obviously, I'm playing 2K14 on the video. Um, absolutely love WWE 13. WWE 13. I thought that was amazing. The last great THQ game. Um, I loved Here Comes the Pain. That's probably my favorite of the entire like THQ Youth production games. Absolutely amazing. Um, WWF No Mercy and WrestleMania 2000. WCW NWO, Re NWO Revenge is awesome. I haven't played any of the Fire Pro Wrestling games, and I really want to. And I love, love, love WWE. <sighs> WWE All Stars. It's amazing. Uh, WWE Figure Collector. Um, I think I, I answered his on the on the on the video, so I'm gonna skip over that. I answered Leo Alvarado on there too. Um, I'm guessing that is three soccer gamer. Figure he loves he is. Ah, yeah, I'm stumbling all over this. Uh, the figure that he loves is the Elite 20 Y2J, Chris Jericho. And because he's his favorite wrestler and because it's so detailed. What are my top five favorite figures? Top five I can name off the top of my head. Elite Series 23 Undertaker, Elite Series 18 Undertaker, 16 Diesel, 16 CM Punk, and... Ooh, 14 boss man. At least here's 14 boss man. Um, those are just my top five WWE figures. Mark Nielsen. Um, I answered one of your questions, but I, I think you didn't respond to me, so I'm going to answer it here. He loves the Hardcore Legends Cactus Jack, and he wanted to know what my favorite WWE game ever made was. It's, it's basically it's a three-way tie between No Mercy, SmackDown, Here Comes the Pain, and All-Stars. All three of those games have something I absolutely love about them. I think the gameplay in All-Stars is amazing, and I love the look of the wrestlers. Could have used a much better creative character system and some more game modes. Uh, game modes, sorry. And SmackDown, Here Comes the Pain. I love everything about that game, except for the fact that for some reason they had a they had trouble with the licensing of the music. So a lot of the wrestlers have their older themes and it just didn't, it felt kind of off to me. So there are some production problems with that game. And it has like a weird bluish purple tint hue to it, which is just, it's odd. Um, let's see. And with WWF No Mercy, I, I really don't have a complaint about that game. It's damn near perfect. See. OJ is good. I answered your question. Isaac Mendez says his favorite figure is the Toys R Us exclusive Triple H. I'm going to guess that's the um, WrestleMania 29 Triple H, one of the ones that I reviewed. He wanted to know, why do I always wear gloves? Because I'm that guy with the gloves. I started wearing the gloves just because I noticed a lot of reviewers don't do anything. You know, you... The thing you see the most on reviewers are their hands. And, uh, like, you know, okay, with guys, there's not really much we can do with our hands, aside from, like, painting our fingernails or whatever, but that's more of a girl thing. So I said, okay, what could I do to stand out? Well, I really do like wearing fingerless gloves, so I decided, what the hell? I'll start wearing them in the reviews. And people started noticing them. They kept asking, why do I wear them? So I just said, you know what? That's a, actually a pretty cool moniker for me is call myself that guy with the gloves or the guy with the gloves because 
And I, I'm sort of taking the name from the Nostalgia Critics website where it's that guy with the glasses. I thought that was a cool name, and I thought I'd put my own little spin on it. Let's see. Um, Aggie NG didn't ask a question. They just said that their favorite figure is the Elite Ringside Collectibles Hardcore Kane. Y2J GTS35 likes the Elite Series 20 CM Punk. His attire is very cool. And I've already answered what my favorite figure is. Let's see, I answered that guy's question. WWE Kid says his favorite figure is the Elite 22 Kane because it comes with the tag belt. Yeah, tag belt. Tag belt. <laughs> um, he wanted to know, why do I like wrestling? You know, it's just, it's one of those things where I discovered it very, very early on as a child. I was about, one of my very first memories was about wrestling. I remember watching the TV in a very dark room and I saw Demolition, The Legion of Doom. I saw Hulk Hogan, The Ultimate Warrior, The Undertaker, Jake Roberts. And I just fell in love with it, man. Ever since then, I've just been addicted. All right. Um, no, you cannot buy my gold dust from me. Sorry. It's... It's an amazing figure, and I'm gonna keep on, keep hanging on to it. Um, James Fleming asked, um, "Thanks for saying I'm a great reviewer. Uh, my favorite figure is one he doesn't own yet. Is the Legends Andre the Giant because you scared him as a kid? I have to agree. When I was a kid, Andre was scary, man. I don't know what it was about the dude, but he's just." Man, just a scary dude. And he likes that he, when he got older, he learned more about him and discovered what a great man he was. Um, he started collecting figures in 99 and wanted to know, when did I start and why? Well, that's a hard question to answer. I got my first figures when I was, I want to say, eight. A friend of mine had a bunch of the old Hasbro WWE, WWE figures or WWF figures back then, and we traded figures, and so I got a nice collection of them. I got like Hulk Hogan, Ultimate Warrior, Jake Roberts, Bret Hart, The Rockers, and you know, I, I love those figures. And one day, my sister threw my Ultimate Warrior and broke his arm off, and as a punishment, my mom gave me her allowance, and we went to KB Toys, and I bought my very first Jax figure. This was the very first Superstar series that they ever did. And I was looking for Undertaker. They had every other figure, Shawn Michaels, Bret Hart, Diesel, Razor Ramon, Goldust, but no Undertaker. So I got the Shawn Michaels, which at the time he was my second favorite wrestler. So that was really cool. And I guess you could say that's when I started collecting them. But, you know, after getting rid of those figures, I'd say it was around 2010. Yeah, 2010 when Mattel first came out with their WWE figures that I started picking them up. But I got really serious about it um, in 2012. And then I just kind of been going since then. Let's see. Constantino Rodriguez says his favorite figure is Elite Series 16 CM Punk. Have to agree, it's a great figure. Who do you think is going to win the Rumble? I thought it was going to be Daniel Bryan, but as we found out, it was Batista. Um, Super Odd Bro Society says his favorite figure is the elite WrestleMania 30 Shawn Michaels. I'm guessing that's the um, the flashback one, one of the ones I reviewed with the red trunks, the DX attire and stuff. Um, my, his question is, what classic title would you like Mattel to make this year? Huh. I want to figure with the cruiserweight title. And I, I wasn't a big fan of the light heavyweight title, but man, the cruiserweight title, whether it's the WCW or the WWE version, I would love to have a figure that has that. Um, or any any figure that they could make that would have the, the WCW US Championship. Um, I really like the look of that. Let's see. Powerbomb Animations. His favorite figure is the Ringside Collectibles exclusive Brock Lesnar. And yeah, I have to agree. That's a great figure. Um, review of that coming soon. What are, who are my all-time favorite wrestlers? Obviously, number one, The Undertaker. 
absolutely love CM Punk and Daniel Bryan. I'd say they're my two favorite of the modern era. Um, Stone Cold Steve Austin, he's definitely one of my all-time favorites. Sting, Goldberg, um, Legion of Doom, Shawn Michaels, uh, Lita, Trish Stratus. Um, I, yeah, I love a lot of the wrestlers. I love them all for various reasons. Um, be it'd be a video onto itself if I named why I loved each and every one of them. <laughs> Let's see. Um, the WWE MLG loves the Elite Series 16 Punk. What is my favorite feature of WWE, ah, WWE 2K14? Oh. I'm trying to think, what's a new feature that they added on this year's game that I really do love? Um, the catapult finishers were kind of cool. Um, I w I'm not that big on them though, but I do think it's a great feature. Uh, I'd have to say, this might sound weird, but the presentation in the menu design, I really do like it. I think it's very slick, and um, yeah. Oh, um, the, the way they've updated the Create a Championship, um, that I really love. I think that's great. Let's see. Kaden, I can't pronounce your name, sir. I'm very sorry about that. Starts with an S. You love the art. Uh, he says, I like Bruno San Martino because he's a Hall of Famer and he comes with the plaque in the stage. Um, why did I swap WWE Elite 12 Canes on Elite 19? Okay, here's the thing. I bought the Elite Series 12 Cane. I've, I've actually purchased it twice now. They were both really extremely expensive. Um, the first one that I got, the paint was really messed up. Like, so much so that if the person that sold it to me had a proper picture, I would not have per bought this figure. So I decided to give it a repaint, and it was looking great. Like, it was amazing. Um, his right shoulder, I couldn't get the paint to stop rubbing off. So I had the idea of I'm going to heat the figure up using blow dryer and pop the arm off and just paint the whole thing put some finish on it so that way it wouldn't rub off. Well, I didn't reheat it long enough and the joint broke off inside the arm. And after a long process of trying to crack the figure open and breaking it, um, I had to basically, I basically raged and threw the figure away, but I still had the head, the arms, the boots, the legs. Um, I had a bunch of parts left over, and I did a head swap with the 19 and the in the Elite Series 22 cane because I did not like the 22 cane head scan, but I love the body on the figure. I think it's actually a little bit better than the the 19, mostly because like my Elite Series K19, his legs got really loose, and if I'm going to do stop motion with him, it's it's really hard. Um, so just for you know shits and giggles, I put the 12 head on the empty 19 body. That's all there was to it, really. Let's see. Um, Michael Towery loves the Elite Series 11 CM Punk. And he's got two questions. Favorite funny holiday movie and why? Ah. Uh, hmm. I'd have to say Home Alone. Mostly because it's a classic. It's one of the very few movies that I watched with my dad and he actually burst out loud laughing. So I think that's cool. Um, the MFR, spelled very weird, but I, or the Murfer, I guess that's how you'd say it. Um, his favorite figure is the Elite Series 20 Christian. He's a diehard peep, loves the Attitude Era, and it captures, you know, his WrestleMania 17 um, appearance perfectly. Um, he wanted to know, have I played the 30 years of WrestleMania on WWE 2K14? And yes, I have. Um, I thought it was a good feature, but I was nowhere in comparison to the Attitude Era from WWE 13. But I did like it. Had a lot of cool little moments in there. FHW Backyard Wrestling, his favorite figure is the Elite Series 25 Sin Cara. It's very colorful, it stands out, and the detail is awesome. Let's see. Uh, what's my favorite championship belt in matters of looks or prestige? It could be from the past to the present and from any wrestling company. 
I absolutely love the Attitude Era WWE Championship belt. Um, that was the first time I've ever seen a championship belt get redesigned. I mean, since I started watching wrestling, Hogan had the classic Winged Eagle Championship. And I was watching both WCW and WWF at the time. And up until that point, none of the belts changed their looks. Um, some of them got different straps, like, you know, Warrior would change the color of them. The IC belt went through some different straps, but when, when I saw Vince McMahon walk out after WrestleMania, walk out on Raw after WrestleMania 14, and he had this huge, giant championship belt on his shoulders, I was like, what is that? And then you see Austin walk out, and he's, you know, swinging the Winged Eagle title, and then he kind of looks at it, he looks at Vince's title, he throws that belt on the ground and just snatches the one from Vince's shoulders. Oh, man, I loved it. So, yeah, that's my favorite classic belt. IC Deal Productions asked, or he said his favorite figure is the Elite Series 25 Seth Rollins. I have to agree, it's a great figure. What is your favorite WWE Mattel accessory? You know, table, ladder, or whatever. Um, I do love the ladders. The ladders are cool. The tables are the tables are awesome. I love the chairs. Um, I'd have to say the cloth entrance gears. Those are my favorite accessories. Um, the molded shirts have actually come a long way since I, I, I've given the molded shirts a lot of hell, especially for the stupid snaps that they used to have with the circle, the three circles or whatever. God, I hated those. But the new ones that they have with, where they just have like the one long singular snap, those work really cool. But yeah, any cloth material that they've made, like Matt Hardy's jacket, um, the t-shirts, like Punk and Brian's, I love those. Mostly because you can put them on other figures and it looks awesome. Um, Jay Maldonado uh, says his favorite figure is the Defining Moments Randy Savage. Why? I say why? <laughs> I'm not going to. Okay. Uh, he loves the colors and the accessories and all that. Um, who's my favorite superstar in Diva? Well, pretty, sure, pretty certain by now it's obvious who my favorite superstar is. But favorite Diva is Lita. Absolutely awesome. She, she was just awesome. Um, in every single way. Uh, Trish was great. Um, I, I actually love the first crop of Divas too, like, you know, Sunny, Sable, Marlena. Um, those were, th those ladies were awesome. They definitely helped make their, their male counterparts, you know, like the Body Donnas, Mark Marrow, um, Goldust made them stand out a lot more. I love the current Divas too. Um, they've, they've come a long way. AJ's awesome. Paige is awesome. Um, so, yeah. Um, I want to say that's Hale Rao or Haley Rao. Um, likes the basic series 29 CM Punk. It's got a good spot on head scan. Uh, favorite question, my favorite wrestler, Undertaker. Uh, GWA Animations, uh, thanks for saying it was an awesome video. Um, you love the, C the Elite Series 16 CM Punk. Um, how old am I? When I started the channel, I was 25. Right now, I am 27. I turned 28 on the 18th of July. Uh, David Leverett. Um, like a lot of the figures. Um, best figure, or his favorite figure is the Toys R Us exclusive Best of Pay-Per-View Daniel Bryan, the WrestleMania 29. He's a huge um, D. Bry fan and he says it has great detail. Uh, great detail, sorry. Uh, what is your WWE dream match? Oof. Um, Hulk Hogan versus Stone Cold Steve Austin. That was a big one. Just I wanted to see those two titans collide. Um, Sting versus Undertaker. I know everyone wants to see that one. Goldberg versus Undertaker. I'd love to see a giant tournament between all of the greatest tag teams in WWE. Legion of Doom, Dudley Boys, Hardys, Edge and Christian, Brothers of Destruction, Goldust and Cody Rhodes, Heart Found, uh, the Heart Foundation, the new Heart Foundation, you know, all of them. I'd love to see a tournament or some kind of match to, to determine who was the best tag, tag team champions of all time. Or just the best tag team of all time. Uh, Kevin, eight. 84692. Favorite wrestler is the Elite Series 20 CM Punk. 
because it comes with the title. It's got great, te great detail. Question, do I have a mustache? Um, standalone mustache? No, I've never actually tried to do a standalone mustache. Um, I rock a lot of different facial hairs. Five o'clock shadow is one of my favorites. Um, I prefer to do mutton chops, you know, just real big bushy mutton chops, you know, Wolverine style or the way CM Punk does it. Um, sometimes I have just a normal straight goatee or I just have it like a, like a full beard, but yeah, nope, not a mustache guy. Uh, John Clonin, what is your favorite WWE match ever? And his favorite fig is the Elite Series 18 uh, Undertaker. Okay. My absolute favorite match of all time is the unsanctioned match between Shawn Michaels and Triple H at SummerSlam 2002. We all know what's at stake in the Royal Rumble. That match, I cannot believe how good it was. Shawn Michaels was away from the ring for four years. He showed up in sporadic appearances and whatnot, but this was him after he cleaned up, he got his life together, he became a, you know, a born again, and he had this great feud with Triple H where it looked like Triple H, uh, you know, attacked him because he, Shawn wouldn't, you know, be his manager and what at, whatnot, so they tried reforming DX, so then Triple H attacked him, and then they were like, you know, hey, I didn't really mean to do that, and then he attacks him in the parking lot. So that leads to this awesome, unsanctioned match where the guys just beat the crap out of each other. I mean, spots I would not have predicted Shawn Michaels could ever do again. He was in there doing it, and there was a moment where, like, after Michaels was just getting the hell beaten out of him for, like, 10, 15 minutes where... He hits the flying, um, you know, the flying forearm shot to Triple H and, you know, does the kip up. And the crowd just went nuts. And, like, the announcers were like, how is he doing this? Like, oh, man, I totally just marked out for that. Um, and, yeah, I mean, and the finish was just so great with Michaels winning, but then Triple H hitting him in the back with a sledgehammer. And JR just just marking out, just wanted Triple H to die. It was just great. Um, I love Undertaker versus Mankind, Hell in a Cell. Um, HBK versus Undertaker at WrestleMania 25. Um, the the three matches that the Hardys, the Dudleys, and Edge and Christian had, you know, the, t the ladder match at WrestleMania 20, TLC 1, TLC 2, those were great. Uh, Trish versus Lita, the Raw main event. Yeah, just absolutely great. Um, John Cena versus CM Punk at uh, Money in the Bank. That was amazing. And Daniel Bryan and The Shield, they're having great matches too. So I just figured I'd throw that in there. Uh, Miz Rules 28. His favorite figure is the Elite Series 26 Road Dog. Because it's awesome. And DX, one of his favorite stables of all time. Um, when did I first get into wrestling and start watching it? So I pretty much already answered that. But I'm going to answer that in a different way. Okay, so from when I was watching wrestling as a young kid, I watched that constantly, every week, every single week, until 2006. Actually, 2007. What happened in 2007 that made me stop watching wrestling was John Cena lost a match to Kevin fucking Federline. Pardon my French, but that was the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my, in my life. John Cena is the WWE champion. He he carries Raw on his back, and you're going to make him lose a match to Kevin Federline. Kevin God fucking damn Federline. That was the stupidest, the stupidest goddamn thing I've ever seen. And then later in the year, they had a match with Rosie O'Donnell versus Donald Trump, and the shit they were doing with Hornswoggle as the Cruiserweight champion, I was just pissed. I was so pissed off at wrestling at that time that I just... I stopped watching Raw, and I just, like, looked at the, the, the results online. I, I still watched Mania, but, man, I was done. I was so done with wrestling just as a whole. Um, I did pay attention to Edge and Undertaker storyline on SmackDown, but, man, I was just done with Raw. Didn't give a shit. And um, what really brought me back into wrestling was CM Punk. In 2011, when he cut that promo, man, um, oh, okay. When The Rock came back, I started watching a little bit because I, I got interested. It was like, hey, The Rock's back. That's cool. 
But man, when CM Punk cut that vicious promo, that was great. That truly got me back into wrestling. So, hope that answers your questions a little bit. Um, okay, so this is going to be the last question of the video, and then I'm going to upload another one. Um, just because I noticed that the Royal Rumble's done now, and I want some footage for you guys to watch while I'm answering this. So, Nino Agostino. Uh, okay, yes, why I started collecting figures, I answered that. Um, your favorite figure is the Elite Series 16 CM Punk. Uh, you love the shirt, you love the face scan, it's, it's very accurate, so I agree. Um, quick other one. Um, okay, pretty much that question, that figure's already been said. Ah, uh, I need to, I need to get another one. I need another one before the video's over. Oh, okay. No, uh, damn it, I answered that question too. Okay. We need another one before the video's over. No, it's ending. Um, okay, so yeah, what, <laughs> sorry. Couldn't really find another question that was original or, or not original, but you know, that I haven't answered already, so. So yeah, this was Chase from CM Punk. I'll upload another video answering the rest of the questions, you know, in a week or two. Or in, a, in another day, I don't know. My schedule's all over the place. Um, yeah, so I got reviews coming, meltdowns coming. Thanks guys so much for paying attention to the channel, liking, subscribing, all that jazz. Love you guys. Take care. See you next time.